Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm. Today I will continue on the series on Reg Park, in particular on the article written, Training for Power, written by Reg Park. This is the second part in the series and it focuses on Reg Park's, I guess, vision of having bodybuilders also display power. In By the mid-50s, he was actually adamant in reintroducing dinosaur-style-like training which was starting to slowly disappear with, I guess, the um, with the advent of performance-enhancing drugs. Let's have a look at this great and legendary article written by one of the greatest silver-era bodybuilders of all time, Reg Park. Now, I already covered the first schedule or the first part of this series of articles uh, where the first schedule covered the squat the bench press, the two hands clean, the press behind the neck, the barbell curl done in cheat style as well as the deadlift which is supposed to be done for the first month. Now in this particular video we will cover schedule two. Now once again I state that Reg Park followed generally full body workouts just like Steve Reeves but this particular style of training more resembles dinosaur style training which is nowadays promoted by Brooks Cubic. Uh, this therefore, this type of workout is definitely not for beginners, it is for seasoned lifters who wish to take their physique to another level. This style of training of course will build not just muscle and strength but strength especially in the joints which will allow you to handle more poundage especially in isolation movements which will then lead to overall muscular growth. So schedule two is supposed to be done in the second month of training in this style. The first exercise done is the front squat where the bar is placed on the deltoids rather than on the chest. Uh, not necessarily as shown here uh, by Dave Draper, although he's, heavy, uh, <laughs> he's handling some pretty heavy poundage. Um, it's actually supposed to be an Olympic style front squat where the arms are basically um, being held back parallel to their own shoulders, not crossed ar along the chest like, like shown here. Either way, um, Reg does indicate that this particular uh, movement, when really, really practiced with heavy weights, will add to your back squat and, of course, develop incredible power, um, as many Olympic lifters actually use this as well. To develop incredible power. Five sets are recommended of five reps with increasing poundage. The clean and press is another favorite here of Reg Park and he actually gives some recommendations as to how one would perform this. Whether you are familiar with Olympic weightlifting or not, one of the keys to progress is many sets of low reps. So let's have a look at the suggestion here of Reg Park. Suppose your best uh, military press is 250 pounds. Well, you would warm up with 200 pounds of two reps only. And then your second warm up set would be a 220 pound uh, press, sorry, clean and press of two reps. And this is your second set. Now you're all warmed up. You would follow this with five work sets of two reps only with 230 pounds, as an example. So basically 90% of your best press. If you're still feeling strong, Reg recommends then moving on to jerk presses with 240 or 250 pounds for three reps each. Once you can do the whole workout, including the jerk pressing, you would increase the poundage by five pounds and start again. And it is recommended that you use a wider grip than shoulder width for this particular exercise. The third and a very important exercise is kind of stated here is upright rowing but it is more of a power pull um, and it was actually at the time considered an AAU strength lift. The same grip should be um, as performing for cleans and you would lift from the floor up to the thigh. After this you would once the barbell has actually reached the thigh this is more of an Olympic movement you pull hard and fast and lift the bar up until it touches the neck and holding the elbows high you would then lower to the thighs 
five sets of five reps of this particular exercise should be performed. Parallel bar dips. I couldn't actually find a photo of Reg performing dips, so I have one of his uh, protege, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and it was also a favorite of, of the very strong Marvin Edda. Five sets of eight reps of weighted dips are recommended for strong arms and a strong chest. Dumbbell curls um, are then followed in the program, and Rich Park actually reminisces, stating that Grimmick could actually handle a pair of 100 pound dumbbells, and that's how intense this exercise can actually get. One can get rather powerful in the handling of dumbbell curls. I actually recall seeing in some uh, cut scenes from Pumping Iron, Lou Ferrigno actually handling 100 pound dumbbells. So there you go. Here is Reg actually uh, pushing his son John John in a set of dumbbell curls. Five sets of five reps should be performed. The deadlift, of course, is the last exercise recommended. Just like Schedule 1, it should be perform performed only once a week during one of your off days, so one of your rest days. For example, again, if you're working on Schedule 2 on a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, you would probably do the deadlift on a Saturday or, or one of those days where you would take a rest. And of course, you'd work up to just a single attempt, uh, until, a single attempt until you reach your maximum for the day. That's it for Schedule 2. I hope you've enjoyed this series on Reg Park. I will continue to do more in the future, but I do want to start uh, focusing a lot more on Reg uh, and continue doing more content on Silver Era Bodybuilders. Here's one of my favorite uh, photos and poses of Reg Park. That tiny, tiny waist with those flaring lats, thick arms and thick legs, fantastic. Fantastic, immortal Reg Park. No wonder Arnold saw him and said, damn, I want to be like Reg. Who wouldn't, goddammit? Thick and powerful. That's the way a man should look like. That's the way natural bodybuilding should be. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Golden Era Bookworm for more content and leave me your comments. Also, check out my Patreon page if you're interested in actually reading for yourself my fully scanned articles, photos, and written articles, or even scanned booklets that I provide on the account. Thanks for watching. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.